Fashion. Hey guys, what's going on? Antonio Espino here, aspiring fashion fine art photographer. And today I got a very special treat. All the way from Detroit City, it's Jessica Kobesi. Hey, it's me, Jessica. <laughs> I like it. Hello. I will right. right now, by the way. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna do some sort of like sequence cut. Okay. And then uh, let's ask was you some good? questions. Was that jump good? I really almost fell yeah, on my eye. Today we're going to be interviewing Jessica Kobesi and uh, get to know her a little bit better. Okay, <clears throat> first question. What is the best thing about being in LA? You know, I just love being in the car for an hour and a half uh, for almost everything. If I want to go get a snack or grab a water bottle from a nearby gas station, it usually takes like two hours. So you really get to know, you know, the area. You get to talk to your Uber driver about his life. It's so long. Okay, well then so what's the worst thing? Really, you really so you have to be sociable here. What's the worst thing about being in LA? The worst thing is that the weather is it's always freezing cold. It's like always 70 degrees, and I have to wear a jacket, and I don't even know how people do it. I, it's just so much vitamin D all the time. <laughs> by the way, that was all sarcastic. By the way. Just so how is that different than from Detroit? <laughs> Detroit's like 30. Once it hits like 50 in Detroit, everyone's out. Do, like having a picnic and going swimming and stuff and over here when it hits like 55 people are freaking out which is kind of I don't know if I believe that guys I don't know if I believe that for a second okay so what country in the world would you like to visit the most well I've I've been wanting to go to Japan forever and I actually went two years ago so that's kind of off my list Ooh. and my second like the second country that I want to visit the most is Korea and I'm going in April oh that's exciting so, yeah Okay, so name one thing that you cannot live without. Reese's? I don't know, I, I could really just, there's a whole list of stuff, but for the food is the first thing that comes to mind. And also pizza. Okay, so. And caramel popcorn. And uh, So chips. junk food, guys. Well, not junk food. Junk food. Uh, what is one thing that you like to bring to every photo shoot? My camera. <laughs> <laughs> memory, extra memory cards. <laughs> Uh, what, so what's one cause that is really close to your heart? Cause that I'm really passionate about are, um, you know, the charities for like refugees and um, uh, relief programs for um, children in the Middle East who are either orphaned or are displaced. So just those kind of charities, I guess. That's good. That's very noble. And uh, what is one question that your followers ask you the most? What camera and lens do I use? And uh, <laughs> no, I say for the record, here. guys, what camera and lens do you use? The Canon 5D Mark III and the Canon 50mm 1.2. But I have been using my 2470. So. Oh. so now you guys know. There you go. Secret is revealed. Cat's out of the bag. There you go. I don't have to answer anymore. Ever again. Just refer what? back to this video. Wait, I'm going to have that annotation on every single like, Don't ask Jessica again. What is your favorite color? Like a coral, like coral, like a coral orange. Okay. It's really a nice color. And where do you draw your inspiration from? I think traveling and other other photographers and just art in general, honestly. Okay. Um, what is one thing that you've learned about uh, in your time as a photographer? That it's going to take a long time to really get the hang of anything. People expect something to happen like overnight, like, oh, I'm going to learn skin retouching first time I do it. But it's really going to take months, maybe even years for you to really perfect something. And so when I first try out something, whether it's a new lens or a new lighting or something, I always give myself a couple months to, as like a, like a learning period so I'm not too hard on myself. Okay. So I think that's, that's... Okay, so other than photography, what is your favorite pastime? Playing video games. And what video games do you like to play? So Legend of Zelda is, are some of my favorite uh, games to play, but then I also like, you know, like Mario Party, Mario Kart, Ace Attorney, Professor Layton. Oh, what is your favorite thing to eat? Um, it's a Middle Eastern dish, it's called fette, and it's like chickpeas and like laban, like yogurt, and sometimes they add meat in there, and they, it's like little uh, toasted bread, it's really good. It's very, it's, we'll have some later. It's really great. We'll have some later. You gotta have it homemade though. Okay, next time I'm in Detroit, we're eating uh, That's it, yeah. Jessica's cuisine. Yeah. What, is, uh, what was your first job? 
Um, I worked at a daycare. Yeah, I worked at a daycare. I changed Dude. diapers. Oh, I looked thought after like... children, made sure they made it home safely every day. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, do you remember your first pet? And what was it? Yes, his or her my name? cat's name was Pounce, and it was a black cat, and I loved her very much. But then she just stopped showing up, and I think she just something happened to her. You know that just happened to me. We had a we had a community cat. We named him uh, uh, Arigato. Oh, Arigato, yeah. And we kept him in an Amazon box. Well, he slept in the uh, laundry room. How long? What happened to him? Uh, I don't know. He just stopped. He, he just, just stopped coming. So um. Lead Carlos to the couch. No, 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 lead him to it and we'll make our way to it. I don't want to sit on the couch. No, why not? It's outside. It's just so... <laughs> it's outside. Okay. Couches should be in the living room, guys. Yes. Mm. Okay. That sounds very bougie of you. It's, you know, if I'm going to be bougie, okay. it's okay. about sitting on a couch. Yeah, I'm down. Okay, sure. That lady's... That's a guy. <laughs> What's your next question? We're so afraid. They're just like put it outside for someone to take.